Madre, I have brought you some natives. They are to be part of our mission here in San Diego de Alcala. My children, welcome to our mission. Here we will educate you, civilize you, and above all, we will convert you to a proud and an obedient Christian. Padre, we like our ways we have the land. We are close to nature. Our ways has worked for us for hundreds of years. Thank you, but we do not need your help. Silence, child. You, you are dressed half naked. You sleep in tents. You are not civilized and proper at all. You must convert and be obedient to the church and God. Padre, many of our people are sick with the strange disease measles, you call it. It is killing many of us. Our tribe, the Ohalani, are very sick with the Spanish disease. Please let us leave and handle our sickness with our shaman, our medicine man. Silence. You must pray for forgiveness. You must pray for help. Now on your knees and pray. I'll have Captain Gasper persuade you if you don't obey. Yes, yes Padre. Yes, yes. yes. Hi, my name is reporter Mariah Skibel from Fox Air News. I'm here about to interview Dr. Iqbal, an expert of typhus. May we begin, sir? Yes. What is typhus? Typhus is a disease which people got in the past during the time the mission settled. What can cause typhus? The cause of typhus is small nanograms shaped bacteria that are parasites of many animals and utilize the components within the cells to survive and multiply. What are typhus symptoms and signs? Symptoms of typhus develop within one to two weeks after inlight infection and may include a high fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and a rash that begins to last four to seven days. And after the inlight symptoms above develop, the rash often spreads. Are there different types of typhus? Yes, there are two types of typhus called epidemic typhus and enomatic typhus, also known as marine typhus. Is typhus rare or common now in California? Typhus is now rare in California. This is Hi, my name is Sir Jeremiah Luce and I'm going to interview two 49ers from the Gold Rush named Abel and Junior. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. sure. Abel, where did you come from? My friend and I came from New York City. <laughs> Junior, where did you guys file a claim? We filed a claim on the Feather River, which is located at the Sacramento Valley in Northern California. How did you guys travel? We traveled by ship to the Central American route. Then we walked to the other side where the ship was waiting for us. The whole trip took us six weeks. Why do you guys want to find gold? We want to find gold because we want to help our families. Have you guys been tricked by fake gold, meaning pyrite or fool's gold? Yes, we got tricked two times. Did you guys find gold? No, we didn't. Did you guys pan for gold or mine for gold? My friend pan and I mine for gold. What tools did you use? We used pans, picks, shovels, and guns. We used guns to hunt. So again, I'm Sergio Mario Listen. We finished our interview with the two 49ers, Abel and Drew. Interview John Butterfield on the Pony Express. Hi, John Butterfield. I'm going to ask you some, I'm going to ask you some questions. When did you start the Pony Express? Well, I started the Pony Express in 1858. How long did it take you to take the information to the station? It took me three weeks and I traveled 2,800 miles. What was the most dangerous thing in the Pony Express? When the station keeper was not at work because people would try to steal the mail. What was the weather like? It depended on the season. Like winter, it was snowing, so it would be hard to get through. And summer, it was hot, so we'd go slower, so we won't sweat that much. When was the first delivery, and who did it? Billy Hammerston made the first delivery in 1816. What is a stagecoach? A stagecoach is a team of horses that pulls a wagon. Mr. Butterfield, thank you for giving me all this information. We're finally here in Sierra Nevada. Where should we call ourselves? The f since it's 1849, we should uh, and uh, we should call ourselves the 49ers because 
This is when gold was discovered. Yeah. I heard the best groceries are here in Sierra Nevada. Yeah, I'm gonna dig for gold to see you guys later. Hey guys. Now what? Uh, I found a river at Sutter's Mill. Penny! Let's go check it out. River! Let's check our surroundings just in case if there's any other miners or any other dangerous animals. Okay. I'll go get the tools. Don't forget the pickaxes and the pickaxes. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Let's work! Hey guys, I think I found some gold! I think that's real gold! Yeah! Now we can finally help our poor families. And why are you crying? Because we can finally help our poor, poor families. This is the best time ever. Are you sure we are going to be rich? We have a chance. Even if our husbands come home with no gold. I hope that we will live here with a better life. I have hope too. Our husbands have been at the golding mines and have not found one piece of gold. I have hope they will soon have luck to find gold. Maybe they'll have luck next time. And someday, we will be rich. No, it's just not fair that women cannot mine for gold. I agree. Yeah, we women are just in the house working all day. I just wish we can mine for gold once. Just being outside makes me feel like I'm free. Women should have the same rights as men. And someday, we will make a difference. Yeah! Here with Lana Crabtree and me, Alexandra Gutierrez. Hello. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. How was your early life? Well, my father, John Ashworth Crabtree, left to go find gold in 1851. My mom and I went two years later to find gold. Who encouraged you to act and sing? Lola Montez. She lived in my neighborhood. When I performed, I thought of her. So, when was your first performance? I did my first performance at a tavern owned by Matt Taylor. So, to, for, so from where to where did you start touring? I started touring California through Nevada. After that, I knew I was a dancer, singer, and banjo player. So did your family ever move back to San Francisco? Yes, in 1859. By then, I had become Miss Lotta Crabtree, the San Francisco favorite. So did your mom ever help you? Yes, my mother is actually my manager. She collects my gold carrying it. Well, it's been nice meeting you. As I said before, I'm your biggest fan. So bye. See you next time. Bye. Gold, gold, gold. If you want to find some gold, come down to Valerie and Cindy's Pan Shop today. We got the best pans in town. Different sizes, large or small, we got it all today. Just find my nine plus tax and we'll double your offer for free. Hi, my name is Catherine. And my name is Dulce. We are here today with Dr. Blass, an expert in gold. Dr. Blass, where was gold discovered in California? According to our social studies book, gold was discovered by James Marshall at Sutter's Mill. Sutter's Fort was the first place many settlers came after they crossed the mountains from the east. Very interesting, Dr. Blass. Can you please describe in details how and where gold was found on Sutter's Mill? According to our social studies book, in January 1848, James Marshall was building a new sawmill for John Sutter. One day, Marshall found some shiny rocks the size of peas in the river. He had them tested. The rocks had gold in them. What exactly is gold, Dr. Blass? <sighs> okay. According to Metal Facts by Science Kids, gold is a good conductor of electricity and heat. Gold, gold is also is also shiny, soft, dense, and malleable. Malleable means that it can be beaten into s soft shapes and sizes. How is gold used today? Today, gold can be used for things such as electronics, dentistry, arm, um, art, and some various forms of jewelry. Of course, I would be thinking you'd have to be a millionaire to get electronics made out of pure gold. Gold is also a symbol of wealth. The color of gold is usually yellow, but some metals are gray or silver.
This is Gold Mysteries 5.0 signing off.